Hello and welcome to TC Josh, my name is Lucan Zero, I'm back at it again, once again with some Union Arena and today we're going over just some uh, games that me and my brother played during the live stream on Wednesday, if you want to watch that, it is going to be linked down below, probably going to be having some more on Wednesday as well if you want to come check it out with us, but hope you guys enjoy uh, some commentary overview of this deck, we are playing Black Clover Red for myself, and he is going to be playing Green SAO going into the future formats, just so you guys can see all the spicy decks that we'll be playing. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed these videos. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Let's get into the gameplay. You're a good viable deck. <clears throat> just going to be cutting, drawing, all that stuff. I'm going to mute it so that way I don't have to hear myself over again. Playing our 7 out. Sorry about the auto focusing on the camera. Gonna have to figure out why it's doing that. Change the settings around. I hope it doesn't annoy you guys too much. I'm going to be playing a Noel for turn. Draw one and trash one. Just a simple zero cost. Always what you want to see when you're starting hand. So that way you can get yourself a little bit of cycle and a pass. I think it's the glare that is really getting the uh the camera to freak out he's going to be tapping one to draw a card and play tapping another one to play a shino i believe is the name of that character just another zero cost no effect i'm moving into my turn two going to be playing i believe a noel and or not no, yeah no mimosa and a noel two cost that draws a card when played and just going to be simply passing a lot of setup for both of the decks. Uh, Rip Black Clover needs to be at 5 energy because you have two, well, if I had the decks <laughs> correct, I would have two rave costs that are 5, being Noel in her Aqua Princess form and Asta in his Demon, Demon Slaying form, but I don't have that Asta, unfortunately, in the deck. I have the 4 cost one, still a very good raid character, being able to negate cards uh, effects, you'll see that later. It comes in pretty handy. Definitely a card I would suggest running in the deck. Looks like he has a dead hand full of nothing, and he is trashing two of the special trigger option cards. That card gives Shino um, a 2500 buff and gives her snipe as well. So pretty good card to have but not when you don't have anything on the board to play it with okay and we're back i hope you saw the cute puppo in the bottom right corner he's going to be coming back to join us here very soon there he is oh that's a cute boy that's my son his name is jet he is so cute i'll uh, flash a picture of jet on the screen here in a moment for you and I'm going to be playing a Mimosa who will check the top four and look for an event yes any event the AP restanders the special triggers this deck also runs a two cost that will let you search for a Mimosa a Noel or an event card and if it's an event card with two cost less two cost or less you will restand an AP pretty good I'm going with Demon Slayer Sword that is the uh, special trigger card to just pop a card. Definitely necessary card in the deck, and it's the reason you play Asta. Playing in a three cost Noel in the front, she has step and is gen a two a generator, two energy generator, and just a simple Asta in the front. So that way I set up my board to have more raid targets in the future, which I will definitely be needing. The uh, Noel also has the effect of if I trash a card, I can gain a thousand. He's going to play a zero cost Kirito, and it looks like he's going to actually have a two cost to play a card. Possibly. It looks like he did tap to draw a card, and he is going to be playing. Yes, a, another Shino, I believe. She is a when active generate two energy card. And I am going to be playing, I believe, another Mimosa to the front. Nope, promoting the Noel. No, tap first, then draw. Don't forget to tap your cards and to draw cards if you need it. Tap your action point to draw a card if you need it. Uh, playing a Noel in the back when play draw a card. Simple effect, very necessary and powerful for every deck though. Draw power is the key to winning. 
and I'm going to be trashing a, another three cost Noel. Remember step, trash a card, gain a thousand, can be a 4k on the turn, and a two energy generator. And going to just play another Mimosa to grab another event card. I believe there's another Demon Slayer sword. Yep. Going to be adding that to my hand. I currently believe I have three in my hand. Just going to be swinging the Noel. He has a Kirito, no trigger, and Asta running into a barbecue. That is the final trigger of SAO, which is the AP freestander. And if it was the last card in his life, he would be able to heal himself. Not good to have two of them in the life, but also good to have them in life in general. Sucks that they weren't the last ones, though. I guess that's the uh, fun part of the game, where you could possibly, you know, swing around and miss them the entire time until you run into one at the very end. But didn't happen this time, unfortunately. Looks like he's going to be promoting a Kirito, and going to be playing, I do not know this girl's name, but she has Step, I believe, and looks at the top two card. Uh, you get to rearrange them, and you can trash one or trash them both if you would like, so that way you don't have to keep them on the top of your deck or not. I think he misplays this, because I think he just draws them, which is fine. I don't really think it's too much of a big deal. Uh, but yeah, she looks at the top two cards, and we'll rearrange them. It looks like he put one card back, but he did draw a card which is not part of the effect. It's okay. We we don't worry about it. We all have to learn cor what the cards correctly do. And he is currently generating 2-5 energy. The deck, I believe, needs 6 and 7, so playing another one. He said he's not going to look at the top card because he knows what it is. He's just going to leave it there. He is now making 7 energy. Has a Kirito that he could raid on in his hand. I believe that is the card that I saw. And he is going to be playing... Ooh. Good. He plays a uh, barbecue to restand AP. But instead of just restanding one of them, he restands the other two. And then restands his one closest to it. It's so funny. I, I gave him a little bit of guff about it just because it was funny. I am currently showing two Raid Ostas, those are the ones that negate effects, the My Magic is Never Given Up, that is the AP reset, and three, three Demon Slayer Swords. This deck is so good at finding your events that you need to heal, uh, or restand your AP and just blow things up, it's so crazy that they printed Mimosa to do that. We have another dog visiting. It's a good boy. That is Starkey, our Ger my German Shepherd. Cute boy. Looks like he is playing a Kirito in the front and a second Kirito as well. Uh, both of those, I don't remember what they have. I uh, think the Kirito on the right that he is looking at right now, he is searching for some cards. I believe you're looking for uh, GGO and Su uh, Shino, and the other one is when attacking, you'll look for pretty much anything in the deck. Doesn't look like he added anything with the Kirito. Give me one second just to make sure that's what it does. The Kirito is on play as the top, look at top four. Reveal one with GGO card other than Kirito, add it to your hand, then place card from your deck, any order. Uh, place them right at the bottom in any order. If you added a card, place one card to the outside area. Did not add a card, does not have to trash. The other one is when attacking and do pretty much the same effect. And I am going to just simply double Demon Slayer Sword his two cards, get him off the board. I should have hit the Kirito. Um, oh, no, never mind, I did. Got all three of them. Ah, because I wanted to raid onto the Asta. Asta's raid effect lets me put a card underneath and trash it when attacking to gain impact. I have the rest of my AP, but it's okay, I'm swinging, so it doesn't really matter. The turn is pretty much over after this. Uh, it looks like he got a trigger. Uh, I think it's just add your hand. Oh, nope, the color trigger, which lets you play a two cost from your hand, active. So that's what he is doing. I don't know, I reset an AP, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to 3 gay, and he ha 
has nothing and oh it's another color trigger and he's going to just block with the 2500 to my 2k and it is his turn he is up a creek without a paddle at this point i think it's pretty much over i can't unfortunately get the austin to have another impact just because uh he only gets to add a card underneath him during uh raiding um if i had Laby on the board or Laby, can't remember exactly how you pronounce it his demon um he can add a card to the bottom of it and then raid on top of him where he would add another one you could have two impacts or two turns with impact that is one of the combos that I do really like about this deck is that you can make it so that Alsta can have impact twice. He also does have the effect to negate something, but I think uh, coming up soon is when that effect is going to be very good. He is going to be right into the Shino. The Shino has Sniper, which is crazy, just an amazing effect in this game. We already know that with Karapika, he has been seen so much more, <clears throat> more gameplay now that uh bleach kind of got hit karapika is now doing a lot better in the meta so definitely a great thing to have is snipe uh i know we have zoldic family uh who has snipe as well but he kind of not too great especially because it is a two cost card to just play hard play it's not very good uh i'll try to make a build of zoldic family and play test it but i don't think that's going to be too great and he is going to be playing his uh, impact negate character and sniping into my Asta. Uh, the character does uh, does have impact? No, it doesn't. I think she just has snipe. She can gain impact with the, one of the other cards, but she does not have impact. She just has snipe. Um, the other character has impact negate, which is typically really good. Uh, what he is looking at Chino is when attacking, if you win a battle, uh, you get to look at the top two cards, rearrange them into whatever order you want, and put them at the top of your deck. That is what her effect does. And then you get to buff a card with, for a thousand, so he's giving her a buff, and she will be a 3500 now. So I'm just going to let this swing go through, because there's nothing I can really do about it. I'm not going to waste a card just to lose a character on board. It is a mimosa, unfortunately no trigger, but it's okay. I think we probably have it here as long as we get an Asta and can raid onto it. I do believe I still have this second Asta in hand that could raid onto it. And oh, there, this is the card. You get to draw and then you get to put a card underneath him to uh, just have it there and then you raid on top of it. So it's a draw card and then take a card from your hand, put it underneath pretty nice just any fodder you don't need another zero or whatever raid right onto the Asta. Uh, Asta will let me negate a card's effect which yes I can get rid of impact negate. I didn't add a card from the top of my deck underneath him which is a misplay because if uh, the impact goes through and it's a, his last barbecue then this definitely could have went south but yeah oh looks like I am there we go okay yeah, that's what you do. Add it over. He has impact now, and then I go into Noel. Noel is a very great card as well. She can also gain impact, um, and she has the effect that for uh, however many events we have in our sideline, she gets more abilities. Two, she gets to make it so that three Ks can't block, and three or four makes it so that she can uh, force you to block any way you can. Um, also, if you activate an event that turn, she gains a thousand and impact. I swung in, he has no way to block it, and so the game is over. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Red Asta, very good. Uh, I'm going to have my friend print out the other Raid Asta, the five cost one, so that way you guys can see how that one works. But I just wanted to quickly go over this and let you guys know this deck is so much fun. I'm having so much fun with it. Uh, my brother was enjoying SAO a lot also. You can see, if you go back and watch it, the SOA, SAO deck it can go bonkers. It's ridiculous in the Kirito, everything, just really good. He just had a very bad hand. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys stayed through, watched all of it, and are very interested in the future sets that we are going to be playing. 
We are going to have a lot of play testing. I hope you guys do come by and check out the live stream, hopefully Wednesday or Thursday. I will make sure to post it on all socials. Go follow them uh, down in the description below. Until next time, keep collecting shiny car wars. Keep collecting shiny cars. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, and I will smell you later.